Hi everyone and welcome back to the Nay Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and today we'll be creating some stained glass window looks for you guys using my favorite range which is the Jelly Polish range. Let's get cracking. So as usual, I've got my nail here buffed and prepped. Uh, I've got a little bit of serious black on my palette as well as black sapote, which is the jelly uh, version. And I've got my um, dampened dish here with, uh, well, it doesn't have it at the moment, but it will have in a second with some gel residue wipe off solution and some a um, lint free wipes so I can clean the brush up in between. Um, for this design, I'm gonna start off by uh, dipping my brush into black sapote, and it's only to mark up uh, the flowers that are gonna be in this window. So I'm gonna go ahead and then kind of just estimate um, how big the rose that I'm going to draw is going to look like. So I'm just gonna kind of just map out a very very faint line um, just to kind of give me an idea of where I want that rose to be so I'm guessing it's gonna be this big uh, I'm then gonna go ahead and just outline some of the leaves that are gonna be on this window as well so very thin lines you can see it's very faint I don't want to be putting too much uh, product on because we're going to outline those lines again. Uh, so I've got three leaves over here, a couple of leaves here. Very, very faint line, guys, because there's no point um, painting a very thick one because we're going to go over it. Right, so we've got the circle for the rose. I'm going to probably do a different floral, um, a different flower at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of mark up that flower as well again very faint lines so we're just gonna paint some petals in this corner and another petal here and probably add a couple of leaves on this side as well so one two three and small one I usually like to do my leaves in two, and one is always larger than the other. Don't ask me why, it's a habit. <laughs> um, so I've done one leaf over here. Uh, I'm gonna go in with my 3D um, brush and get some gel residue wipe off solution and just take off some of those lines from earlier on that I don't want to be in that window. So, uh, obviously I've painted a few lines of the rose here, so I'm just gonna wipe them off so I don't cure that. Uh, I don't like the three leaves, so I'm gonna just take it off and have two. So I've cleared that up, and once I'm happy with the placement of this, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a cure so I know how to paint and fill in my roses. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick cure. Um, 15 seconds and we'll go from there. Right, I've flesh cured this bad boy over here. Um, I have also prepped my palette. So I've got some of the colors of our jelly range on the um, palette now. Uh, they're all listed in the description below. I'm gonna try and name them for you, but if I forget any, just check our description. Um, so I'm gonna go in with Wild Strawberry, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, jelly red color and i'm gonna go ahead and just fill in the section of where i want to place my rose um what i'm gonna do now as well save up some time i'm gonna go in with my 3d brush because i can pick up a lot more color and just fill it in 
slightly faster. I've painted this section red. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I think it's called pitaya. Is it pitaya or something? Yeah. Don't know what that means. Is it a fruit or something? I'm not sure. Yeah, something. Oh, like that. I, 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 sounds like a fruit. Not sure, but it's a gorgeous transparent pink. I'm gonna pick that up with my 3D brush as well, and then just try and fill in those petals. I'm gonna leave that semicircle in the middle uh, blank for now. Literally just blob it on the nail, and then use the brush to just guide the product. To where you want it to be so we've got flower number one done flower number two done i'm gonna clean off my brush and i'm gonna go in now i definitely have to use the detailing brush and i'm gonna try and fill in those um leaves with green i believe this one i'm using is called uh oh god can you try and say that is it fioge I have no Fijoa. idea. Fijoa. Fijoa. I think it's <laughs> Fijoa. And if I'm saying it wrong, then feel free to take the in the comments. Oh, I'm sure they'll let you know. <laughs> because, um, yeah. Pron uh, pronunciation and me, that's just not something that goes well together. I'm going to go in and just fill that in. I'm gonna add um, another color. I feel like maybe for this design, we should stick to one background color. Um, so, I'm gonna flash cue this real quickly just so the product doesn't move. And then I'm gonna add some color on the background for it. Right, so it's flash cured. I'm gonna go in with a gorgeous orange, which is actually not Valencia orange, which is my favorite, as you know. I'm gonna go with star fruit. It's actually a yellowy kind of um, uh, jelly. Uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead and paint the whole background with that and give it a cure and top coat it before we do our next stage. Right, it's fully filled. I'm gonna pop this into the lamp for the full duration of the time. And then we're gonna top coat it. Right, so top coat applied on. I'm gonna go in and use one of our chrome pigments, which is called Burgundy. I think it'll look really nice and give that window a bit of a more, um, I don't know, kind of glorified, I don't know, churchified. <laughs> making up some words yeah i'm gonna go in and get some on my uh finger and then just rub it on here i don't want to take too much pigment on because then it's going to take away from that um different shades of jelly so i'm just really working it in maybe in some areas more than others because i want the color to come through so yeah i think i'm going to leave it at that so I've got a little bit of, yes, that's the word I was looking for. It's got a bit more of a satin finish now, um, which I think is really complimentary uh, for this look anyway. So I've got that on. I'm now going to go in with my detailing brush and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add some detail using Series Black. So I'm just going to get my palette closer to me and I'm going to go in and add some of the detail. So I'm going to start with the rose. So it's a bit of a U shape for me always, breaking the line into a few sections. So continuing that U shape. 
I'm trying to create a fake circle <laughs> or spiral. I don't know. So I've got that on. And I'm going to go in and add a few more petals. So let's do one here. I'm going to add another petal on here. Another petal on the side. Right, I'm going to add another petal at the top maybe. Now the petals are getting slightly larger. If you guys are struggling to see what I'm doing, because I know with the jelly and the chrome, it's a bit like, you know, with the reflection of the light, etc. If you want me to do a little bit of a tutorial on how to do the rose and the leaves, then just let me know in the comments below and I'll do a short one for that as well. So you can see what I'm doing. So now I'm outlining those um, leaves from earlier on. So we've got rose number one done. I'm now gonna go in and outline the other flower and then we're gonna add some random lines in between to make it look more like a window. Woohoo! Okay, all flowers done. All leaves done. I've got the um, nail on here. Just because with the back gloves, you can't really see the, uh, the whole work. So I've got it on the palette so you can guys see what I've done so far. So I've painted the flowers. Um, I'm going to add some lines in between just to create those, you know, the, um, the window kind of look. So I'm going to go in with that black and just really add some random lines. Uh, probably Drew will be able to see it better. Okay, so I've painted those lines on. Let me show you what it looks like now when it's done. So it looks gorgeous the way it is just now. Now, just before I cure this, what I'm going to do is just add a black border around the whole nail because I think it will look a lot nicer with a border. Uh, so I'm just gonna go in and paint that on the nail. And then we're gonna cure this design and just add a top coat. For the second time. <laughs> okay, so we've got the border on. Let me just show you again what it looks like quickly on here. Look how it adds that last kind of, you know, wow. Uh, I'm gonna just add, I know I always add stuff. I can't stop guys, but just a little line on each petal on the bottom flower, just to have a little bit more detail there. And I'm going to cure this now for the full length of time before I add a top coat. And that's the final look, guys. Let me get that palette so I can show you what it looks like. Oh, look at that. How stunning is this um, stained glass window nail look? <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely stunning. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I mean, 
um, I would actually do a little bit more. And when I say a little bit more, I would just go around the flowers and thicken up that line. So there's a difference between those thin lines in the background to those flowers. So just the border of each flower, I'd make it slightly thicker. Um, but yeah, that's our first window done. And I'll show you the next one, slightly different technique, but super fun as well. Right, so for our next design, in terms of painting, it's going to be slightly easier. There's gonna be a little bit more line work, but uh, not as many, like, not as much detail like flowers and stuff. So uh, I've prepped the nail and I've buffed the surface. And before I am going to paint any jelly uh, paints on it, I'm going to go in with one of our new shades, which is called a Pandora Night, which is a gorgeous uh, glittery, um, if I can open it, a gorgeous greenish glittery purpley i think it's got all the colors in it <laughs> it shines gorgeous it's got quite a few shades in it and i'm just gonna uh, go ahead and paint a couple of layers on this nail just to make it extra sparkly I'm gonna pop this into the lamp and go in for that second coat. So I have um, applied the second layer of the glitter and I've also applied top coat just because I wanted to smooth the surface a bit uh, because as you know, with glitter, it can get slightly bumpy. So I've put top coat on top. I'm now gonna go ahead and buff the surface slightly off camera and then uh, we can um, start applying our jelly right so the nail is all buffed I'm gonna go in again and do the same thing I've done earlier with the nail before so I'm gonna go and pick up some of that black um, sapote or however you say it um, on the brush and just mark out the um, shape of the window that I want okay so for this one, I'm going to go in and create maybe a little bit of an arch. So just a very thin line, just to know what I'm doing. Um, and then on the other side, and then another arch underneath. Very thin line, guys. These lines are just for reference. So I've got this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and create a little bit of, how do I describe it? Rays of sunshine. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, at least you do. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to understand me, guys. Okay, so we've got those rays on top. And I'm going to do another curved line. I like my U shape, so I might as well. And in the middle, I'm probably just going to go old school with the very, um, you know, would you say the typical kind of window, you know, yeah, those little sort of squares. Stained glass yeah. pattern, diamond shape. Diamond shape. Is it diamond shape? Well, you're going to get whatever shape my uh, <laughs> brush gives you. Gives you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just create a few lines down that nail. So I've got those lines here and then I'm going to try and be as symmetrical as possible, which for some reason is not happening today. I've been quite clumsy today, right? <laughs> I've dropped everything in the studio, um, everything at home. So I've got these over here. I'm kind of happy with this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead 
and give this a quick 15 seconds cure. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start filling with our jelly polishes. Right, so we flash cured this. Um, I'm gonna go in with my detailing brush, triple zero three as usual. I've got my jelly polishes on here from the um, look earlier on. Um, I really don't know what color combo to go for, but I'm just gonna probably wing it, why not? So, filling in this section, look how gorgeous it is. Now, that's the reason I put the glitter underneath because it just gives it a complete different kind of look. Ooh, can you hear my glove? No, it's I was squeaking. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and swap on to the red. I'm sorry, Matura. Don't know why this sound is making me giggle. Right, so got this painted. Uh, I'm gonna go and swap on two. Let's see, I've not even put them on my palette, so I think I might go in with some purples. Maybe this one actually. I'm uh, gonna go in with some purples. I've got what is it called? Let's see, elderberry, which I'm just putting on the palette now. And I've also got this one. <laughs> Mirtillo. Miri. That's a gorgeous blue jelly. That's all you need to know, okay? <laughs> it will be listed below, guys. Because I ain't saying that. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm gonna go in with the purple and just paint something different over here. So I filled it with purple. Probably gonna go in for green, light green, why not? I'm just gonna mix up all the colors so true story guys the jelly collection is my favorite favorite collection out all of the nail your nails collections and it's quite sentimental as well for me because the first ever PR package that I received actually included uh, most of the jelly polishes Ah, uh, so I really, really love them. It's like, I don't know. It's one of those collections that just stick to your heart. Well, they stuck to mine anyway. So, okay, randomly, I'm going to just fill in some of those squares. Yeah. So it's all filled in, back into the lab for the full duration then some lines and top up right i've got this gorgeous um nail ready for me to go in and add some lines i'm gonna go into that serious black um, and i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, outline it properly now um I'm just adding on the last bits here and there now. Um, now, checking out that the whole lines are complete and even in thickness. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just thicken up a couple of lines and then I'm gonna cure this fully. So, 
think I'm gonna thicken this arch line. So I've thickened this line on here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the other side. So I've got a nice thick line here. Is it even? Okay. And now the last thing I'm gonna do before I cure is add a border. I genuinely think that all stained windows look a lot nicer with a border. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that on before I cure. And now just the bottom border. And I'm gonna give this a cure for the full length of time and then top coat it for you guys. And there you have it guys, the final result. Let me get the gloves out of the way so you can kind of see what it looks like. And it looks completely different now with that glitter on cause oh, it makes it look so gorgeous. You have got some stained glass with like texture, don't you like? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it kind of, Reminds me of that. So if you put glitter underneath and then just change up the jelly polishes, oh, just looks stunning. And there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I love doing it for you. Two stained window looks. Um, my favorite is definitely the rose one. Let me know which one is your favorite on the comments below. As usual, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next video, guys. Take care.